Alright, back again, Luke here. And today what I want to do is show you guys a, uh, a couple of packages that I wound up getting in the mail here just a couple of minutes ago. One of these packages, this one in front here, is one that I've been waiting for for quite some time. And uh, another one just kind of popped up here. This is one that I wasn't expecting. And uh, I wound up getting a sudden random email uh, from a really good YouTuber who goes by the name of Stuff I Wrote. His name's uh, Ian. And he said, Luke, uh, check your mail because there's something coming. And I just said, whoa, what's up with that? And, you know, as soon as I went up reading that, a couple of days later, wound up getting this. And uh, I have no clue what it is. <laughs> and it's really random. So I figured we could open this one here first and then we'll jump into this one and show you guys what's going on. So I haven't opened this one up yet. I just tried to, uh, I don't know what that is, <laughs> tried to save on the, you know, the package opening and the struggling and all that good stuff here. So... What is this? Oh my goodness! Wow! It says, uh, greetings good sir, remember the PC9801 game I showed you? It's still gathering dust on my shelf so I figured it would live a better life in a home where it stands more than a point zero 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 like one billionth of a chance of being used. <laughs> I have no idea about this game other than that is it's like Snatcher and or sort of adult. <laughs> uh, I bet you tomorrow I'll discover this thing is like a PC9801 version of stadium events in terms of value. Brr. Oh well, here's me cashing in my lottery ticket. Enjoy the game, dude. And P.S. When and if you unbox this, you might want to cover the back of the box up if you choose to show this in a video. Okay, well, let's see. How bad is it? <laughs> right. Okay, well, that makes sense. So, yeah. <laughs> this one is... Phobos, as it's pronounced here in uh, Japanese, and uh, very much so a kind of snatcher, uh, you know, one of those risque kind of games. Uh, once again, you know, if I were to go and show you guys the back of this, this video would probably get flagged, but yeah, it definitely has some uh, interesting artwork on the back here. Maybe I can show you guys a, a little bit of uh, the artwork here, so you guys can take a look at this, minus the uh, the fully nude stuff. Although you can probably see a little bit of action up here at the top. <laughs> but uh, awesome! There aren't a whole lot of great games out there for the PC 9801. Uh, there is a lot of great games for the uh, 8801, but the 9801 didn't have such a large selection of games. But this looks pretty awesome, and uh, it looks like I'm going to have another reason here to try and go and pick up a 9801 so I can make a video on that. That is awesome, Ian. I wasn't expecting that. And that is very, very sudden. But I really much appreciated. Uh, once again, Ian, or otherwise known as Stuff I Wrote here on YouTube. Fantastic, dude. Thank you so much. Now I can, uh, yeah. <laughs> it almost feels wrong saying enjoy myself, like, playing this game. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll, I'll get some enjoyment out of it in some way, shape, or form. And, uh... PG, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, going on to the next box here before I dig myself a bigger hole. This is uh, a package here that uh, I've been waiting for for the last couple of weeks. And it's a package that I wasn't really going to, uh, I wasn't going to pick up. I didn't even know about it until I got a message from another YouTuber who goes by the name of Moomer1. Fantastic guy if you guys are into arcades and you really want to check out some of the uh, the arcade videos that he puts up. He puts up tutorials on how to repair stuff. He also puts up his projects that he's gotten in on how, things that he's repaired, different cabs, parts, um, gaming videos. He's got it all. He dropped me a line, and he said, Hey, Luke, uh, I found something on the auctions uh, in the States here that I think you might be interested in. So, take a look at it. So, I did. I went over and checked the site, and sure enough, it was something that I've been wanting or needing for a long time to try and get uh, one of my games working. And this is a game that you guys know about. It's a game that I've... Uh, Put up a video on that I've actually repaired, but uh, it's a game that was missing some components, so I wasn't able to get it fully functional. And it took quite a bit of uh, you know hunting to try and even find these parts normally. And when I did find them uh, a couple of times, he actually helped me try and find it once before, but I wound up getting outbid on him. And this time it came uh, with a set of these, which is totally awesome and uh, extremely unexpected and I didn't even expect to win these to be honest but um, it was kind of like a buy it now type setup here are the uh, 
brackets for it, which is pretty cool because the uh, the whole set came with everything. It came with the brackets. It came with the uh, you know the uh, controllers themselves. You guys can probably see here a little bit. There's one of the brackets. Uh, there's another one. Uh, apparently, they're a little bit. Uh, I guess broken or non-functioning like a hundred percent, but even to have these things is really rare. But for those of you arcade enthusiasts out there who know a bit about the games, check these out. This thing weighs, uh, I think it says 27 pounds total, um, or maybe it's 27 kilos because these things feel quite heavy. These are the SNK machine guns that are needed for Beast Busters. And, uh, I, uh, like I said, I was looking for these games here for, or these controllers for the longest time. And I was thinking about just picking up one, and I would have been totally happy if I would have found just one of them. But to find a pair of these for uh, a buy it now of, geez, to be honest, I think I paid uh, a total, well, I paid about $100 total to get them shipped out here and the, uh, the controllers themselves. But... Uh, the last set or the last auction that I checked uh, before was actually selling like one of these for a hundred bucks. But you can see the bottom here. This one has all of the wires uh, clipped off of it. it, has the clip snipped off of it, but that's not a big deal because you can actually. I, I have the, uh, the schematics for it so I can figure out the pinouts for it. All I have to do is just check the, uh, the different buttons on here and then just wire it up accordingly. But that is one awesome part here, nonetheless. It has this, but it also has the start button located in the uh, in the guns so it it has not only you know the fully functioning gun sets it has uh, both of these I think the guy said that uh, one of these was replaced yeah down here with the uh, the pots this one is the one that was replaced with a, uh, a different one but should still be functional it has uh, both of the pots down here and it also has the uh, you know the whole controller the whole gun setup so this is something that I've been waiting for for quite some time I think he said that uh, also inside the gun itself there was a couple of um, one of them had a blown diode in it that uh, didn't allow it to shake so it doesn't uh, have the shake on it anymore or the um, yeah the uh, one of the components is kind of non-functioning but if this thing will turn and go straight and go forward and fire that's all I need but that's one of them and woo, as I drop the camera wonderful that's what I get for sitting it down I suppose and let's see, let me get the other one oh, there's some more brackets for it And some more brackets yet again. And the second one. And this one actually has uh, quite a bit of a longer cable. Oh, and this one actually has the, uh, this one has some of the connector left on it, which is pretty good. That's good. That'll help out uh, quite a bit. Even for just trying to get this thing to work with one player. Well, that'll be really nice. And that might give me a, a bit of an idea as far as what else I need to plug in here. There's the uh, second one. So one of these is for the start, uh, for the start button. The other one is for the rest of the up, down, and gun controls for that. So that's cool that it has at least uh, some of the parts on there. Got a couple of extra wires here, which were cut from the harness itself. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of, um, you know, projects to come here this will be the next project will be to try and make up a uh, I suppose something that I can kind of harness these things to maybe a, a wooden type of setup like a control panel and then mount these on there and hopefully be able to play some or do some gameplay on my Beast Busters 1989 board so but yeah, super excited to have this, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing some projects here, trying to get this thing up and running, and everything will go smoothly, and I'll be able to show you guys some of this stuff in action here very shortly. But once again, a huge thanks to Ian here for uh, Phobos, a very interesting looking game, and I'm sure it'll provide a lot of entertainment here in the future once I get a... Uh, 9801. Hopefully I'll get one of those soon. And we'll do some project updates here with the old guns and hopefully get those up and running sometime soon as well. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. Whee!
Looking forward to being able to play Beastbusters.